Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will talk about another very interesting, very important but one of the least discussed topics that is note taking. You might have noticed that teachers often don't like or they don't appreciate it when they find you listening to them but not taking notes. Why? Why is it so? Have you ever thought about it? The reason is that you know um, that no matter how much you are paying attention to their lecture, as you go home, you will forget most of the points that were discussed in the class. So let me tell you that it's a proven fact that we remember only or less than 25% of what we hear in the class or what we listen in the class. But if we take notes while listening to the, uh, to the lecture, the retention rate increases and it reaches around 75%. Therefore, it is very important to take notes while listening to the teacher or while reading your book or a handout or while you are watching or listening YouTube lectures. So uh, let's see a little further and see why is it so important to take notes. As I said earlier, note taking is important because it supports your listening efforts because when you are listening to your teacher or while you are reading a book or while you are watching a YouTube lecture, you, do, will, you will not remember all that you are going to listen. But if you are taking notes at the same time, it supports your listening efforts and it increases your retention rate. Secondly, it allows you to test your understanding of the material because you, uh, we do not uh, ask you to write whatever you are listening or whatever, we, uh, whatever you are reading. Rather, we want you to read the content, listen to the content, understand it, absorb it and then based on your understanding, write your own key points. Then uh, it gives you a sense of what the instructor thinks is important. You might have noticed that teachers, often teachers do uh, tell you while uh, delivering their lecture that this is more important point or this is a point that can be asked in the exam. So while you are taking notes, you will definitely write it at some point that this is a question that teacher said is important. So it, it would definitely help you further in your exam preparation. And the lastly and the most important thing why note taking is important is that it creates your ultimate study guide because definitely while teacher was teaching you, you were taking your own notes, you were writing down the questions that teacher said that these are the possible questions that can be asked in the exam or if the teacher says that this is an important topic or if the teacher says that this is the question that I like the most or this is the question that I often ask in the exam. So it creates your study guide. So when you are preparing, there are different methods of note taking. Uh, the first one is list method, second is outline method, the concept method and the corner method. While I was recording this video, I realized that I use almost all of these methods according to the nature of my subject and the requirement of the course. That is the reason I have added the pictures of my own notes so that you can better understand various methods and relate them as real life examples. So let's have a closer look on different types of uh, note taking methods. First of all, this is sentence method or the list method. This method is what most students use as a fallback if they haven't learned other methods. This method typically requires a lot of writing and you may find that you are not keeping up with the professor. So uh, for which type of learners this uh, method is helpful? This is very helpful for the beginners. As this is obvious from the, sent uh, from the name that this is a sentence method. So you might have noticed that some students keep writing whatever the teacher says in the class because they, they do not, um, they or they fail to understand the material or sometimes they fail to uh, interpret the material, they fail to analyze the material and they simply keep writing whatever the teacher is saying. So what happens most of the times that the pace or the speed of the speaker is fast but your writing speed is not that fast and you cannot catch each and every word delivered by the teacher. So for this purpose you need to understand or you need to know the shorthand or the abbreviations. But remember whatever abbreviations or the shorthand you are using you must be familiar with it because definitely you are going to decode your abbreviations afterwards when you would be reading your own notes. So as you can see in the picture that I have attached with it, this is from my own notes. So when my teacher was delivering the lecture, I, I tried to keep, write, keep writing each and every word. So you can see that I have underlined a few words, I have given different sterics over there or I have used different parentheses or I have enclosed something, enclosed a circle, um, a text in the box. So these are my own abbreviations. These are own my, my own symbols. So I do know whatever it means. 
so when you are using or when you are following the sentence method try to follow some abbreviations and the shorthands or you may use the bullet points you may use the symbols or the sterics or the sterics all right so the second method is outline method um it is a very good method to use when the material presented by the teacher or the instructor is very well organized or if the teacher has already given you the handout a day before your lecture so in that way when the material has already been given to you you can read your material you can underline your points and further you can make your own points to uh, understand the text better as you can uh, see in the image that i have attached with my this slide that i have added few points only as you can see i haven't written the sentences in me, in my notes rather i have used the phrases or i have used the words and i haven't given the explanation there if you could compare this particular slide with the previous one the image that i had attached with it i had written each and every word that was delivered by the teacher but here i have only focused on writing the phrases and the words only so i have uh, written the key points you can say that the key points are written over here you can Our next method is the concept map method or the graphical method. This is a great method to show a uh, relationship among various ideas, various concept or various complex ideas. So when designing a concept map, map, place a central idea in the center of the page and then add lines and new circles in the page for new ideas. So as you can see in the picture, I have placed my central idea in the center and that is importance of note taking and then I had uh, created different bubbles for each point. So for example, support your listening efforts and then test your understanding and so on. So I have given uh, I have drawn this uh, topic in in a concept concept method concept map method so while you are working on this you can create and organize the branches around that circle and then you can keep adding the supporting details or the examples in it so the last method is the cornell method uh, this is recommended by most of the people because of its usefulness as well as the flexibility the cornell method can include any of the methods that we have just discussed and it provides you a useful format for calling out key concepts prioritizing your ideas and organizing or reviewing your work so as you can see that um, i have divided the page in four in equal parts by writing an alphabet i on this page at the top of uh, this page at the top of this uh, i you will write your headings and then on the right side uh, on the left side of the uh, of this page you will write your points and you can see that i have left ample space between all the points and on the right side you will write the explanation in front of each point or you can draw a picture in front of each point or you can draw a mind map or whatever suits you and in the end at the bottom of the page you will write the summary as it is obvious from uh, the picture you can see in the picture also that i have used uh, this cornell method to write my own notes i have written point number 1 these are the different methods of taking notes i have written point number 1 that was list method and then i have given an explanation of it my point number 2 was outline method and i have given the advantages or disadvantages of different methods and then at point my point number 3 was concept map method i have elaborated it with the help of picture and then in the end i have given point number 4 that is cornell method and i have just uh, explained it and in the end i have given the summary at the bottom of the page the bottom of the page so after listening to all these methods what do you think which method is better than the other one can you say that the sentence method is better than the on, uh, outline method or you can say that the cornell method is better than uh, the mind map method i think no because all these methods work well for different types of learners for example sentence method is useful for the beginners outline method is useful for those who listen and process the information simultaneously um similarly mind map method is useful for understanding complex ideas and cornell method sums up all so depending upon the nature of the course and the topic you can adopt or you can opt any of these methods so which method is best for you as learners we all are different and we have our own learning styles therefore use adapt or adopt the style that suits you or you can use all of these methods depending on the nature of your course or the topic 
So you have to decide which one is going to work well with you. But the most important thing is that make the habit of taking notes while you are listening to something or while you are reading something or while you are watching any lecture on your of your teacher. So you have to take the notes because it is going it is definitely going to help you to prepare well for your exam or for your quiz or for your test. Good luck. Keep making notes and keep watching the videos. Bye bye.